Mr. Marape said the national government is determined to abolish the outcome-based education, claiming it's not content-based. He said the education department has been given clear instruction to create a new curriculum before the 2013 academic year, and they will work around the clock during this festive season to meet the deadline. I know the timing is pretty short, but uh, with the abilities that we have at hand and uh, the department has pledged their commitment uh, to the nation and to follow government's instructions. And Acting Education Secretary Luke Taita said the government's instruction to create a new curriculum is respected. I think we, we should, I want to assure you that the department, together with the provincial divisions of education, will do our best to make sure that we don't fail the students of Papua New Guinea. Mr. Taita said it's a big task to roll out a new curriculum and this doesn't happen overnight. Therefore, he'll consult the department's top management and find ways how best to accommodate the implementation of this program. You know, together as partners with our church partners, with our donor partners and the agencies which form the national education system, I think we will, we will deliver what the government wants us to do. In his view on the government's decision to revert some structures of the old education system, particularly the sifting of grade 7 and 8 back to high school, he said students will be affected because teacher training programs are designed for primary schools and not secondary teaching. Taita said the focus of education must be on children. Therefore, more resources and infrastructures are required to account these instructions so it bears fruit. Fabian Hakalits, National MTV News.